the reverence of the lord is but the beginning of wisdom but the full knowledge of all the holy one's ways is complete understanding so the first thing that you encounter when you begin to deal with this immortal personality is that he imparts his fear i don't have time to take you to the book of proverbs to show you um, um the part of spiritual progress because the book of proverbs is a part that's what it is the whole book it's showing you a path it's a pathway for wise people it's a pathway that is prescribed by all that must be wise all right and the first point on that pathway is the fear fear of god that is the beginning of of wisdom that's the beginning of the path of the wise and that's the thing that happened here fear came upon them the fear of god the reference of god the revelation of god's holiness his pureness how that god will do what he says how that god means what he says and he says what he means that knowledge and that consciousness so that you know you'll be conscious of the field that you are, you are doing business it's a field of a god that is holy a god that is righteous and if he says root this is what i will do he will not change his mind because he is the i am that i am you need that fear to be able to deal with him you need that consciousness to work with him lest you trivialize something that he hates so that fear has to be there for you to be sensitive to him to be constrained by him to be manipulated by him you need that kind of disposition to do business in the realm that is calling us to participate but you see it is only when a spirit is involved that you are ushered into these chambers it is possible for a believer to live without the fear of god all right and he does all kinds of stuff now there's no prayer we can pray that you know he say lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil that prayer cannot totally exempt you from temptation no so temptation will come to you and to me but the point is this a man that has gotten into that economy where he's sensitive to God if temptations come even though you feel a pull because of that fear of God you are restrained you are constrained see this constraining that I'm talking about is not is not human you are not with me hey you have not seen dollars in Jim Tech's bag new ones he has a fragrance it, that fragrance can choke your soul you have not seen it as bribe in gym text back are you with me but if you have entered into the economy of this fear there will be an inner constraining it's not human no human being can survive that gym test back I, I assure you oh when somebody comes and say they want to divert some 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 hundreds of thousands some millions of liters and move it to Benin Republic overnight. You don't understand. They'll bring a badge. Let me not tell you my work. The night. A badge can comfortably take 5 million, 10 million. So they just. And overnight, they have reached Benin Republic. The price is double. And people are willing to pay. So they pay and then they come back. You are still discharging. And then they come back with gym text. For allowing the operation to prosper when you open the gym text and you see it and don't inhale it if you inhale it <laughs> the spirit that travels with it will negotiate with your soul and then in the midst of that you are there and something is constraining you it's not human a spirit is involved Meanwhile, the people talking to you, eh, they are rugged. They are smuggled. They are rugged. And it will not even occur to you that they can drown you. 
You are the only one in the midst of 12 men. You see, I was born for one purpose. To bear witness to the truth. Them that hear the truth, listen to my voice. The case has finished. They, they say this is not a human being. It is true. A spirit. So he, he releases you into, into contact with the fear of God. And the fear of God can constrain the fear of God can hold you back. Hallelujah. You see, the fact that the pool affected you, the pool, doesn't mean you, 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 you are bad. Oh. No, bro. You, the pool, you even go like this, the pool. You move. But as you are going, a spirit, he will bring you back. The spirit will make you understand how incapable you are as a man in the flesh. The devil knows the buttons to press to, to command compliance from your life. But what he no longer understands is the power of that spirit that is involved. He said, when two or three are gathered, because I called them, I will no longer be dormant. I will become active in their lives. And I will bring them into, usher them into the first pavilion. That's where they are sensitive to. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is no prayer we can pray here for all the ministers gathered that will say, Women won't tempt you. E. There's no prayer. Meanwhile, uh, intercession, if you intercede very well, it attracts women. Ah. The only guarantee of your survival, as you born like this, with this mighty witness, mighty, mighty utterance from God. Hey, is that what? A spirit. Now, see, he knows that you will become vulnerable in the process. So he said, I will be there by covenant. It's a covenant. I'll be there. He's not there as a spectator. He's there because every layer you are ushered into, there are infirmities in your humanity that will be on display that you will have to come and cover. remember you know before you married you there was a particular kind of sister I used to like if it, for it might be short one i assure you there are still short ones in town baba won't kill them because of you i <laughs> akoroma some is some some is light light skin <laughs> like the lilies <laughs> Robena Yalakunda. There are still a lot of them around. Now, when you begin to burn with the intensity of, 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 of the fragrance of grace, suddenly your counseling list begins to become bloated. And then you discover that 90% of the people are lilies. <laughs> <laughs> glory now these are the things that some people were exposed to that the spirit was not involved that you heard the other story it's not that, that they didn't start where they started where but the spirit was not involved this practice will ensure that there is a guarantee that the spirit will always be involved He ushers you into the pavilion where the fear of God is. I don't have time to take you to the book of Proverbs to show you why the book was written. And then to show you what happens when you begin to seek God more than gold, more than silver. All of us are weak. It's the spirit that has kept us. Paul said, haven't, haven't, con yeah? he said, haven't received the grace of God. I have what? Continued until this day. It's not by power. And the earlier you know the unreliability of your flesh, the more you will cleave to the Holy Ghost. So there's a guarantee of the Spirit's help when consciously two or three of us make a pact to exercise ourselves under the government that is in the name of Jesus so that we will be there as an infrastructure to facilitate His agenda. We will be there to align with His will so that we become agencies through which his policy statements can prosper he said you are working for me what are we doing in response to this your work 
is that my spirit he exposes us to the fear of God there are many times in scripture where there were graphic revelations of the of the God of heaven but of all those times uh, Revelation chapter 4 is the appearance of God um, Ezekiel chapter 1 is the manifestation of the glory of God the mechanism of spirit technology where you have the wheels and all of that wheels within the wheels the mechanism of spirit technology in glory uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 6 is a revelation of the holiness of God the revelation of the holiness of God is that kind of a chamber you are brought into when you start this protocol the feedback the first line of feedback that comes the type that is Isaiah encountered in chapter 6 where you you see the holiness of God is a revelation and after you have encountered that when you see something that is not it you'll be constrained the story was told that night when I said I was born for one purpose to bear witness the story was I now got the feedback that when I was talking fear came upon the people I've been on vessels before that somebody got angry and broke bottle and wanted to kill somebody and when I knew the person we killed that, that guy I knew so I just came to him by instruction and I touched him like this come the, the man just the anger just left just jumped from me and he just began to follow me I said come you need to be very very anointed to be there very very anointed you can die see, mm, hallelujah Amen. it's after they were rooted in the fear of god that the next portal opened what's the next portal there acts 42 as i round up the next portal opened what's it fear came upon every soul and many signs and wonders were done Many times we end this, this escapade in the frontier of signs and wonders. But there's much more than signs and wonders that is in this calling. Now, can you give me Acts 2.42 on the screen? Oh my. Okay. Let me read my own Bible. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders were done. Because God decided to be making himself manifest that which is involved with us now wants to make himself manifest but this is where most of the time the journey end, ends it's the next verse i'm looking for most of the journey ends when signs and wonders come go on to 44 and all that believe were together that's the congressman congressmen for territorial work territorial government so there's something beyond the ministry of science and wonders some people have pegged it there science wonders science wonders science wonders and we're not saying this because we don't do science and wonders if we are true if we are authentic and if we have worked with god long enough science and wonders should be part of our ministry but it doesn't end there congressmen were now formed there's this oneness in spirit to form the real territorial guru. They were all together and had all things in common. Just Pastor Gideon that showed us the difference of between gathering and gathering together. So this one now, the Bible says they were together. And they had all things in common. Congressmen. So issues of self could not punctuate the stature of their congress say no one okay next verse next verse please and so their possessions are good and parted them to all men as every man had been issues of self could not punctuate the stature of their congress a territorial organism has been set in motion through that little two or three are gathered they have come into the point of territorial function now the unity we ask for is not a unity that we can for, for, forge by a union by pfn by can it is a bonding of brotherhood 
that is a function of spirit knitting. Hallelujah. Spirit knitting. Spirit knitting. And there are a lot of stuff that happens in amidst the congressmen. There is a level to which we continue. <coughs> then the council of elders will form. You know, God in government, in anything that God does in government, government is not steered by one man. It may be you that pioneer the ministry, but when the ministry becomes a movement, God will appoint council of elders to be part of that movement. You don't know. And those people will they will come supernatural. So in the council of elders, there is security for that move because insight and revelation will be coming overhead. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, what we are actually now. Uh, we are council of elders that have evolved out of the machinery. Council of elders, people with distinct dimensions of grace, giving perspective. And it is God that we select them. It's not given to a vote. Let's vote for. The system will produce people that have capacity to address it. It's at those points where the tribe you come from doesn't matter the name of your father no god has appointed you to be a congress a leader in congress so when the council of elders begin to emerge within a territory it means that the formation of the church in that territory is beginning to take shape it is obvious that the church the nature of the church that is supposed to be in this territory is an intercessory church Yes, it's a ground of warriors. It's warriors, the kind of warriors. It might be, it may be, I don't know, but it may be. Hallelujah, I say it may be. It may be that in Benin, what God wants to raise is that he wants to raise leaders that will go into the political scene. So their own context of Congress, their own kind, the shape of their Congress might be a bit different from our own shape. That's when we see territorial functions. And the shape of the church begins to come. And these things I'm telling you are things that I was brought into by experience.